What you guys got another video here for you on how to check which ports are open and in use on Windows 10 PC. You can use this method on other versions of Windows, but seeing that Windows 10 is pretty much uh, the main operating system nowadays, I thought we'd cover it on Windows 10. So let's go to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator. The first thing you want to do is type in here netstat space dash A. This will give us some information that we can use to find out uh, what ports are open and in use. So you can see here, this gives us some information uh, which we can use. So for instance, you can see here closed wait. We can also see established and listening. Well, the listening is a state uh, that means the port is open and in use here. Established, you can see here as well. So we can use this information to find out uh, what is being used on this port and what is basically connecting to it. So let's go ahead and do some more commands and look further into this. So now you can type netstat space dash a space dash o. So what does the dash a and the dash o mean? A will display all connections and listening ports and o will show all of the process IDs related to each of those connections. So we can take a look here. If we look at the very top, you can see here the state is listening. And we can also see PID, which is uh, the pro process identification number. And we can also see a local address here and also the TCP uh, on the left hand side here. So as you can see with that command, we can now do some further investigation on the ports that have uh, been established and also which are listening and which also have a PID number. So open up your task manager here and we can check inside here which one of these processes using those uh, PIDs and ports. So let's go ahead and right click on the top here and we need to enable PID so we can see the column of PIDs here. And basically what we're gonna do is look for a particular uh, PID number. So let's go down and have a look here what is connected. So we can see here, we do have uh, one listed here. I'll quickly highlight this to show you which one we'll check for. It's 16. Uh, 912 that's what we're going to be looking for so let's go back here and click on the uh, PID and then we can drag this all the way down to the bottom where it would be and we can see right here it's KDD so what is KDD well we can now right click on this and we can either end task or we can take some information from here by looking at the properties of that process and stuff like that so let's take a look at the properties of it and go to details. We can see that this is related to Western Digital Desktop App. So we know it's the Western Digital Desktop App that is running on this system. So by going down to the right hand side here, we can now see we do have apps inside here that are running. We can literally click on the WD Discovery, which is what this is here. And this is related to this particular KDD file on the system. So we know it's to do with Western Digital and it's not malicious in any way, shape or form. So that's basically how you can quickly find uh, PIDs and processes and uh, files that are running on your system. You can also use a resource monitor as well. If you go inside resource monitor here, this will automatically uh, be able to show you exactly what is uh, running on the system. And you can see we do have that file on here as well. KDD is listed here, it's running, and we know it's being used. So that's basically how we can find those files. And you can easily weed out uh, nasty files on here like hidden uh, malware and uh, backdoor files and stuff like that by using this technique. It's very quick and easy to do. You can see wddiscovery.exe is up there as well. So we know it's related to Western Digital. So next we can do another command. So let's go ahead and try another command. We're going to do netstat space dash AB. Now the B will display all executables that are involved in creating each of the listening ports on this system. So now we can see uh, what files are being created here. And if you look here, you're going to see a bunch of executable files which are literally uh, running on this system here. You can see this one is listening here and we can do a search for this one. This one's called true image mon.exe or monitor.exe. And we can go here and we can there see it. it's related to Acronis. 
and it's their TIB monitor uh, system. So if we go here, we can search online, we can suspend this process, you can analyze this process and we can also end the process tree and end the process as well from here. If we go back into our task manager here and look at the processes here, you'll probably see it listed inside here. So here we go. Let's take a look. And there it is there. And you can see it's clearly related to Acronis. And again, you get more information here. You can create a dump file. You can check some other information on here. Go to details. Open file in location as well. If you wanted to see where that file is located, and it will take you straight to that place where that file is. Now, if this was malware or some sort of malicious file that was running and you wanted to do a bit more investigation, you can use this to track down files and find them and remove them from the computer. You can see it is in the actual Acronis um, folder there. So it is related and it's safe to be on this system here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some properties for this file as well. Now, when you do properties here, this will give you more information about the file and where it's located. And also it gives you some other information like details and stuff like that, which generally tells you that it's um, a legitimate file, really. So let's go ahead and uh, try and uh, do some other stuff with this computer so I can show you some other bits and pieces, which will be useful uh, for obviously tracking down open ports and files and uh, what files there are on programs which are being used on this system. Now, another great utility to use is CurePorts. Now, CurePorts is by Neurosoft. You can download this for free and run it on your system. And this is just gives you uh, more information as well about what's going on with your computer. So you can download this here. Down the bottom, it says download CurePorts. And we're going to have a little look at this one as well. Open this out and extract it to a folder and put it on your desktop and you can open this up and we'll take a quick look. So let's have a little look inside here. Let's run this and there you go. You'll probably find that all the best programs just have a really plain look to them, but this is a very powerful piece of software and you can see here you've got the process name, you've got the protocol, the process ID number and uh, local address, the remote address, all the useful information here. Send and receive bytes here and sent packages on here as well and basically it gives you really good useful information you can see that kdd uh, file here you've got some uh, features that you can use inside here you can include filters exclude filters clear all filters uh, kill processes and other stuff like that you've got loads of good stuff here i'm not going to dive too deep into this one just trying to keep this a bit short and informative so you guys can get an idea of uh, how this stuff works but if you want to see a more in-depth video on this sort of stuff then let me know and i'll try and do my best to make those videos for you but basically you can see it listed here and uh, it's related to my cloud my home cloud um, you can see here the remote name and address is my home cloud which is uh, to do with uh, western digital my home cloud now, it's got some useful uh, tools on here which you can use as well uh, which is great uh, to use and uh, what we're going to do here is take a look at another program which you can use, which is made by Microsoft, which is called TCP View. This is another great piece of software which is useful to have in your arsenary to uh, combat uh, malware and also to have a look what's going on, troubleshoot network issues and stuff. You can see here um, we've got a bunch of files in here. Just, just open up this 64-bit file. And again, it does a breakdown of what's on the system, a bit like uh, CurePorts here. Um, again, this gives you some information uh, which is very, very useful to you. And it's listing, uh, you can see Cyber Protection Services. This is from Acronis. And it will give you the model name, uh, the creation time of that, the remote port address, local port, and the local address, the state and the protocol and process ID number as well, and the process name. So it does give you quite a bit of information on here. And you do have some useful things like uh, properties here also kill process and you can see it does pretty much the same as the other stuff you can click on explore here and it will take you to that location and show you where that file is located now tcp view is a very powerful tool as well and it looks like they've just done a gui update on the software as well so it looks much more uh, nicer so kudos to uh, microsoft to updating the software 
And yeah, you can use this to pretty much um, monitor and find out what's going on on your system. Now, if you've got a lot of malware on your system, they will show up on here. They will start to show up because they'll be trying to uh, connect out of your PC. And uh, basically, this will help you find uh, these malware on the system as well. And you can use Process Explorer and a bunch of other software as well, but that's another video. So you can see down the bottom here, Endpoints established, listening, time weight, and closed weight, and so on down the bottom. And that is pretty much it. You can also use other tools like Port Query and other tools like this as well to troubleshoot uh, issues on your PC. But other than that, that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can identify ports in use on your computer and check which ports are open on your Windows 10 PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some use to you. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Let me know in the comments section if you want to see more on this software. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.